I was at the beach. I wasn't hiding. You know, I was just on the rocks waiting for the next train to come back to L.A. And I was doing yoga. I had him tied. Wait, what time was this? Like midnight? About midnight. I missed the last train. What were you doing I, running at midnight? What are you doing yoga at midnight? <laughs> I'm very confused. Well, like, I was doing yoga to pass the time. Okay. Because I had just missed the last train back to uh, Union Station, L.A. So I was just doing yoga, and my battery was dead, so I was just out there, you know, with no way to contact anyone. Daoshin was on this same leash. Uh, this was wrapped around my ankle. And, oh, he was um, leashed? Yeah, he was leashed. But, um, you know, little dogs always bark at big dogs, mm -hmm. and, you know, they always like to run up and go towards them. So I think that's probably what happened. He was distracted from serving me, and he jolted off towards the darkness. You know, I really can't, couldn't see. But I could see him, and I immediately ran after him. It was very fast, and I separated him. He really didn't do anything until after the fact, which basically he was just, you know, pressing on the wound, which I couldn't see, but he was just, like, pressing against it, making it kind of bigger than what it was because, it, you know, there was not enough time for my dog to do any substantial damage to his dog. I well, immediately... listen, I've never heard of a Japanese Akita, so I had to look it up. Here are some of the characteristics of Akitas. They're very loyal Correct. and very protective of Correct. their owners. But they also typically don't like other dogs. They're strongly independent dogs, high prey drive, and again, high desire to protect what they deem as theirs. So your dog being 110, Arya being 12, you're saying that there wasn't enough time there to really do damage? Correct. Is what you're saying? Yes. You're saying that you saw no blood? No blood. No. But you saw a wound. I saw him pressing up, a, you know, away from, toward, you know, on a wound. How do you I know he was making it worse if you didn't really see? Because the dog was screaming. Because the dog's in pain. Yeah, but no, he, he was screaming because he was pressing against whatever wound and making it larger. I'm finding it hard to believe that you're saying he was pressing against a wound, making it larger, but Correct. yet you didn't see any blood. I didn't see any blood at all. So then the cops come. You call the cops. Yes. And they took a report basically saying this is a civil issue, civil matter that you're going to have to handle. How much time between Aria being attacked and the police, how much time had passed? 15 minutes. Did you need to get her to a vet ASAP? Yes. But you were willing to still wait for police to arrive? Yeah. I knew that I had to get this written because, uh... He was just immediately denying that his dog did anything. You said in your complaint that Zhao Shen was unleashed. Yes. You were certain of that? Yes. And you're saying that he was leashed. He just, what, got loose? Correct. This leash was tied on, around my ankle, and when he jolted after the dog, as, you know, he, they were running towards us, it came off. So he was still on a leash. It came off your ankle? Off my ankle. It came right off. And okay. I, tackled him, separated. But he, made, but he made contact with Aria. Correct. Okay. So you take Aria to the vet. She gets Correct. stitched up. And you claim that it took two other appointments, follow-ups, mm -hmm. to the hospital. Is she okay now? Yes. Wish well, you would have brought her. Well, actually, no. Never mind. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen her, though. But we can check her out in the photos that you provided. Can't see Aria's face, but you are showing the wound there. Yes. And you didn't see. You didn't see blood. No. This is the wound after she got her stitches? Yes. So I'm assuming it looked worse? Yes. You sent these photos to the defendant? Yes. And you got no response? Right. You tried calling him, no response. And then you say that a month after the attack, you're running errands and you run into him? Yes. With his dog? Yes. What happened with that interaction? He's at the bus stop, I'm walking by, and he offers to sell me a $5 pre-roll. And I said, do you not recognize who I am? You owe me $2,000.